Okay, so I'm ready to start on this uh, this new piece. And again, I'm going to be painting it in that kind of abstracted uh, process. And it's, it's kind of funny because I'm so confident normally standing up here painting uh, because I know what I'm doing. I'm uh, you know, basing it on 10 years of kind of painting the same similar subject matter in a similar way. And when you move into the process realm, there's that kind of almost a gut-wrenching fear that wants to come out because you have no idea what you're doing. You don't know where you're going. And there's that huge fear. Oh my God, this is gonna, you know, what if it doesn't turn out? And then we have to remember at this point that this is in process mode. Um, and in process, the, the very first thing you have to do is give yourself permission for the painting to fail. The whole idea in process mode is you're learning new skills, you're trying new things. Um, and so when you feel that fear start to come up, you have to just back up and realize, no, what you're doing is you're putting product type expectations on yourself when you're working in process mode. So I, I feel reasonably confident this painting will um, be worth the effort. I mean, the, the beauty of when you go into process mode is sometimes they don't turn out and that's okay. Sometimes you have breakthroughs where like pieces turn out that are just like unbelievably better than anything you've done before or just like they sh they all of a sudden reveal a, hu a whole new direction that your work can possibly go in. And that's what I'm looking for here. I, I actually feel I've, I've already done now three full paintings um, in this style. And I feel reasonably confident that, that, that I can pull this off and that it will, it will be a keeper. Will it be one of my best pieces? I don't know. Um, but I think it'll be a keeper. But again, this is all about design and composition. So I, this is actually going to be much harder for me to do than my usual uh, type of painting. I'm really going to have to put my thinking cap on and uh, really stretch those creative muscles. So this is the, uh, the actual scene that's going to inspire it. And I'll get you to just throw, a, throw that up on the screen, full screen, for a couple seconds so people can see it. And so I'm going to just really break this down, simplify it. We're gonna, we have several of these vertical birches. We have some of the pine boughs coming in. And we have uh, some leaves in front. And then there's kind of like a distant hill and then sky in the background. I don't think I'm going to put like the sun in there, but we'll see. And I think what I'm going to have to do, I think I'm going to use different thicknesses of line to maybe highlight some of the more important uh, shapes here. And that being in particular the, uh, the foreground shapes of the uh, birches and uh, maybe even the leaves, I'm not sure. But I'm going to start off and I just want to indicate the, uh, the height of the horizon back here. And so, and I also just want to get an idea for how thick these lines are. Okay, that's actually, that might be as thick as I need to go. Oops. Let's smooth that out. And I was thinking of using this big brush here, but I don't think, I, I think that will actually give me too, uh, too thick of a line. So let's forget about that for now. So I made a little whoopsie here with that. I want these curves to be smooth. So as I mentioned before, when you make a mistake, fix it right away. Now I'm doing this in acrylic, the, uh, the block in of the lines. So I don't have a lot of time available in terms of changing shapes or if I make mistakes. If I was, uh, because I need this painting to be ready for my open house, which is coming up in actually a week today. So I need to get on this uh, quickly and the acrylic will dry quick. If I was doing this kind of at my leisure, I would probably do this, these lines in oils so that I have a much, uh, much better chance of uh, erasing them and making changes if I have to. So the big question here now too goes for the trees. Do I make the trees kind of tree-like or do I abstract them so that means they go from wider to narrower? And I think I'm actually going to abstract the tree shapes a little bit more than normal. So they're not going to, I don't think, look really, really, really tree-like. And they might actually go from thick at the top to thinner at the bottom. And, or will they? Maybe they won't. This is the beauty of when you're kind, no, maybe they will go kind of from thinner at the top to thicker at the bottom. 
can't make myself make bad tree shapes. But the beauty about when you're, when you're working in process mode and you're creating, um, you're working outside of kind of the high realism, you get to determine the reality within that painting. And as long as you stick to that, then no one can really fault you for any of the decisions you make or any of the choices you make. Um, and we'll, I'll get more into that uh, later on. And so let's have another birch here. I want to try and keep these birches from being parallel to each other. I want them all just slightly a little wonky to each other in terms of the angles that, that, that they're at. Well, this requires a lot more thinking than uh, than when I'm painting in something that's within my comfort zone. There's that whole kind of flying by the seat of your pants feeling that you're not 100% sure what you're doing. And so there, there's my three, three big trees. I uh, don't like that line. And again, if you see something you don't like, get rid of it. Don't leave it there so that you're going to see it for the rest of your life when you look at that painting and think about you should have changed it. That line went kind of, the tree kind of went in looking like, it, like it's, it had part of its side caved in. So what I want it to do, to do is go on kind of a smooth transition. That's better. And let's just touch that up. It's funny when usually when I'm painting, I talk, I can talk a lot and articulate exactly what I'm doing, why I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, but when you see me silent here, it's because I'm not 100% sure and I'm just thinking. Um, okay, I think now I'm going to move to a, a thinner brush and do thinner lines for some of these uh, smaller trees. And so we have kind of a curved shape here for a, uh, one of the smaller trees. Now that line is not thick enough. So you need to get the exact right brush to, to do the line, the thickness that you want it. And that one is too thin. Let's try this. That's better. Not as thick as the uh, those first lines that I drew, but it's thicker than that last brush. That's why it's good having a variety of brushes that have worn down to uh, the edges are worn down or you can have paint dried in them because they'll make it a, a different type of mark and if in the uh, right painting in the right place that might be exactly the type of mark that you need. And now I'm going to take this off to the edge and bring it back. Okay, so there's another tree shape. And I'm going to leave this for now. I'll come back to you when I've got this all blocked in because this actually might take me quite a while. I'm going to have to do a lot of thinking about 
about what I want to do here, but we'll come back when uh, all of the line work is in and I'll kind of explain a little bit about what I've done and then we'll actually start putting the uh, paint on the canvas. I've locked in the line work. If you ask me, Tim, do you know what you're doing right now? <laughs> the answer is heck no. Uh, but that's the beauty of working in process. You're flying by the seat of your pants. Uh, there's an awful lot of times when you think, oh my God, this is a dog's breakfast and I don't know how the heck I got myself here. But you just keep working through it. This may turn out to be fabulous. It may turn out to be a couple days of a waste of time. But that's the that's the whole the whole part of being in process mode. You don't know. You're playing the what if game, and the only way you find out is to keep going and see where it leads. So this is. I mean, I do have the the, the big birches here with the thicker lines. I, I want to indicate leaves, but I don't want to paint leaves, so I did a collection of kind of triangles overlapping to suggest leaves, and there's some of these kind of sweeping things coming in and out that could be um, the pine boughs, and then everything in the background other than that um, will be light colors to the sky. Um, with, in terms of what's this going to look like when it's finished, I have absolutely no idea, uh, and that's how it should be when you're working in process. I do, I am going to just... Can I turn this into a great painting? I think I can. It's going to be one shape at a time as I put the colors in there. And each shape that I do um, is going to suggest either better or less good choices for the next shape in terms of the color, the value, that type of thing. So um, I'm excited. I'm, <laughs> I'm a little bit uh, bamboozled. Uh, and um, yeah, it's kind of nice to be, as I said, flying by the seat of your pants and to just the only exciting thing is, is where is this going to go? Uh, so stick with me and we'll find out.